This morning, my office filed suit against Corinthian Colleges. And um, in what can only be described as a for-profit college predatory scheme. Essentially, we are talking about Corinthian Colleges taking advantage of Californians who simply aspire to achieve the American dream. We are talking about vulnerable people by circumstance and condition who want to improve their status and their situation. We're talking about people who want to do everything that we expect to be part of the American dream. Bootstrap, pick yourself up, get an education, get a good job, take care of yourself and your family. These are the victims of Corinthian College's predatory practices. And for that reason, we have filed suit. Um, the complaint alleges violations of both California's Business and Professions Code and our Corporations Code, which is also um, the code that relates to California's security laws. And essentially, uh, what we are talking about is uh, an institution, Corinthian College, that has assets of over $1 billion. It operates three for-profit colleges, Everett's, Heald, and Wyo Tech, and has 24 colleges across California and three online programs. Heald and Everest have campuses right down the street, as a matter of fact, on Mission and Howard between 4th and 5th. The map behind me, well actually to my right, um, shows you where the campuses are located in California and you can see we have a healthy number of them in both the north and south of the state. Out of 81,000 students who attend these colleges, approximately 27,000 are right here in California. And the average student at a Corinthian school, according to Corinthian's own CEO, is 25 years to 26 years old, has an income of less, an uh, annual income of less than $20,000, and is a minority, is likely to be a woman, likely to be a single mother, and um, on average have two children. Specifically, the complaint alleges, one, that Corinthian deployed deceptive and false advertisements to prospective students and included false information about job placement rates in these ads. So for example, the evidence will show and the complaint alleges that in their advertisements, Corinthian College promised students a 100% placement rate in their program. Um, for specific programs. So they promised students that for specific programs that the student would be enrolled in at Corinthian College, that they would be guaranteed a 100% guarantee of job placement. Our investigation, however, found that um, this was false information and that in some programs, not one single student obtained a job coming out of that program. In 2011, we have, for example, a situation where at their Hayward and Sa um, San Francisco Everest College campuses, uh, Corinthian paid a temporary employment agency to place students to meet the accreditation deadline and minimum placement percentage. So basically, to cook their books uh, so that they could allege and, and suggest that they were actually employing all of their students. But as we know, being employed with a temporary agency is not permanent employment. Um, and it is also important to note that the accreditation guidelines, the rules regarding this, require sustainable employment. Again, by definition, sustainable employment is impossible at a temporary employment situation. Um, some of the graduates, in fact, of uh, Corinthian Colleges uh, claimed that they were employed by being placed in a two-day employment situation. We are also alleging in the complaint that they advertised educational programs that the school does not even offer. So, for example, they ran millions of online and mobile ads offering training in ultrasound, x-ray, radiology, and dialysis technician programs. They don't offer any of those programs in California. In fact, the evidence will show, and as alleged in the complaint, that Corinthian telemarketers were disciplined 
if they told prospective students the truth about these programs and the fact that they don't exist in California. Third, we are alleging that Corinthian colleges engaged in securities fraud according to the laws of California by specifically misrepresenting the job placement rates to investors. So there is the misrepresentation to students and misrepresentation to investors of Corinthian colleges. In presentations to investors, Corinthian colleges reported a nationwide job placement rate of their students of 68.1%. We believe the evidence will show, and the complaint outlines, that through emails that we obtained from our investigation, the Corinthian executives knew that this number was in fact false. And in fact, their internal audits from two of the campuses showed error rates of between 53 and 70 percent in terms of their job placement numbers. So by their own information and documents, they had an error rate of 53 to 70 percent when um, they described their placement numbers in terms of job placement. We have also alleged in the complaint, and the evidence will show, that they unlawfully used military seals in their advertisements, which of course is against California law. And Corinthian, in, in particular, do we have the military? Oh, we don't have, the, you'll see it in your packet, guys. Um, the, the seals that they used were official seals from the United States Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard. Seals that would suggest to veterans, to people who are America's heroes, people who have served and sacrificed for our safety, suggesting to those individuals that if they go to Corinthian colleges, they will receive treatment that will be commensurate with the dignity they deserve. When in fact, they were targeting our veterans, knowing that veterans come with money for their ongoing education. And they were taking advantage of these folks who are simply, after serving our country, trying to come back to their homes and provide for their families and themselves. What is most insidious about the information and our investigation and the facts that have been proven is that Corinthian Colleges was actually serving not as an educator but as a predator of some of the most vulnerable people in our community. And by the evidence that we have uncovered in our investigation, you don't have to take our word for it, take their word for it. You'll see here, their target demographic in their own language included isolated people, impatient people, individuals with so low self-esteem, folks who have few people in their lives who care about them, who are stuck and unable to see and plan well for the future. This is their language about who they were targeting. And so as the complaint describes, Corinthian Colleges is selling these expensive programs to students throughout California, many of whom had single parent families and have annual incomes that are near the federal poverty line, which, by the way, is $19,530,000 for a three-person household. Corinthian targets this demographics, which it describes in internal company documents as composed of isolated, impatient individuals with low self-esteem who have few people in their lives who care about them and who are stuck and unable to see and plan well for the future. To secure this well-described target demographic, well-described by Corinthian, Corinthian colleges deployed ads that executives knew were false and misleading. It's important to also put this investigation and these charges in the context of work that my office did back in 2007. There was an investigation that led to a court order in 2007 that essentially included a court-issued injunction directing Corinthian colleges to stop in engaging in similar type of behavior in evaluating their conduct and initiating this new investigation, we have determined that they have not only violated a previous court injunction and ruling, but they have violated 
some of the most basic laws of California. And for that reason, we are pursuing this complaint. I'll take questions in a moment, but I want to close by saying that, you know, we know that we're living in a state that has faced many economic challenges. We have talked about the foreclosure crisis that hurt California and hit us hard. We have talked about the fact that if we as a state are going to continue to prosper as we once did, we have to invest in our workforce. We have talked about and we know that it is no longer the case that an individual can come out of school unskilled and get a job. We don't have factories and farms like we used to. In order for an individual to be competitive and productive in this society and in this state, they must have skills, employable skills. The victims of Corinthian College's predatory practices are those people who are trying to do everything we want them to do as Californians, which is to lift up our state, be productive, be engaged in making our economy strong. And instead, Corinthian College is engaged in conduct that has done nothing but break these individuals down who simply want to stand up and be proud and be productive. And for that reason, this complaint has been filed and um, our investigation is ongoing. And I will say that this investigation should be put in the context of an overall investigation that my office is doing of for-profit colleges and universities. The people of our state should not be the subject of other people trying to make money off of them simply because they want to get an education. And so this investigation is ongoing, as are others, most of which I cannot talk about. Um, but I do invite your questions, and I'll just close my comments by also um, acknowledging Francis Grunder and uh, Nick Akers for their incredible work and ongoing work as leaders in our office. Thank you.